constantly overwhelmed with the amount of things that you have to do. School, work, family, friends. It's just too much. We just want to take a break, right? I do too, but I shouldn't. At least, that's what people tell me. If you take a break to rest, that means you're weak, you're lazy, and you're never going to become successful. Because you, you should be working while everybody else is resting. Otherwise, you can never become anything. Well, my name is Sofia Garcia, and today I'm going to show you how important it is for you to take a step back and breathe when you're feeling overwhelmed. If you don't take care of your mental health, it becomes just like this giant snowball going down a hill. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and it will eventually crash. Second, I'll show you that you need to understand your self-worth so then you can grow. And last, but definitely not least, I'll prove to you that mental health issues are not just drama, with some statistics. As a teen, I always get told that my issues are just a phase. And as an adult, you probably get told to grow up and get yourself together. But we know it's not that simple. First, I'll share you to you my experience with self-care. I've always been a busy person, but my problem was not the amount of things that I had to do. It was how I looked at them. It was my mindset. I started to overload myself because I wanted to achieve perfection so bad. I was so scared of failure that I didn't want to disappoint my family, my friends, myself. And I started to require so much, so much from me that I became miserable. The things that I used to love doing didn't have a meaning anymore. I started to feel lost and empty, but when I finally asked for help, everybody told me the same thing. Sophia, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. And when I finally took a step back, I could see why. Most of us here have probably gone through something similar to what I just described. So now I'm going to show you how you can shrink your giant snowball to the size of your hand. First, let's ask ourselves, why should I even take some time for myself in order to achieve happiness? Actually, somebody answered this question 2300 years ago. According to Aristotle, in order to be happy, you need to develop some virtues. Let me simplify this for you. Virtues are basically habits that over time become part of your personality. According to him, one of the most important virtues you could ever develop is self-worth. When you know your self-worth, you know your limitations. So you're always able to push yourself to become a better person, but without overloading. So you can always evolve without crushing yourself. If you feel like you're starting to crush yourself a bit and things are getting way too out of hand, that's when you take a step back to breathe. You know those days when you just feel like this? That stormy cloud above you weighing you down so much that you don't have any motivation to do anything anymore? That's when you take your own time to heal. Just put everything aside for a while. Go do something you love, see people you love, see things you miss doing, and just take your time to refresh and reset yourself before coming back to your hectic and stressful lifestyle. If you feel like doing that by yourself, it's way too hard. Don't hesitate and ask for help as soon as possible. We know that mental health issues are not just drama, and here are some statistics to prove that. According to the Mental Health Foundation study of 2018, most of young people feel constantly pressured to succeed in life. 74% of people reported feeling so stressed on a daily basis that they even became unable to cope. 61% of people reported anxiety. 51% depression. 37% felt constantly lonely. And 32% even suicidal. This means that basically one out of every three people feel suicidal. And it proves us that mental health issues are not just drama and things you can simply jump out of. They have to be treated seriously and you need help if you think that you cannot do that by yourself. Well, at the end, I just hope I could show you a new perspective and make a difference in your day. Basically, 
Self-care is something you need to develop in order to have a happy and healthy mindset. You need to develop also your self-worth, so you can always evolve yourself without crushing. And if you feel like your small ball is getting way too out of hand, just take a step back to breathe and let yourself heal in the time you need and in your own way. If that's still too much, don't hesitate and ask for help. Know that your issue is not just drama and that it has to be treated seriously. Now that you know that you can just shrink your giant snowball to the size of your hand, go on, why not throw it now?